You're meeting up for rendezvous. I have something for you. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheree. Welcome. If you happen to be returning, you are truly appreciated. Thank you so much and welcome back besties. Today we are talking about party scents, holiday party scents. I have received so many DMs about, girl, I'm going to this party, I'm going there, I'm going here. What do you recommend that I would wear? So I have about, 10 fragrances or so. I just can't stick to the assignment. 10 fragrances or so that we're going to talk about today that I feel would be perfect for wearing to a party, whether it is a formal party, a house party, um, just getting together with friends, whether you're going to a work function, whether you're going to, you know, just hang out. If you're just meeting up for, you know, refreshments, old times. <laughs> if you're meeting up for rendezvous. I have something for you to wear. Here on this channel, I do cover fashion, beauty, luxury, and lifestyle, all things fancy and fabulous dueling. So if that sounds like something that you'd like to be a part of, go ahead, stop what you're doing, take 2.5, drop me right now in the comment section what fragrance you're rocking today. And if this seems like your vibe and your zhuzh, go ahead and consider hitting the subscribe button, but don't stop there. Go ahead and truly become a bestie and come over and say hi on Instagram. Without further ado, you guys, we are jumping in right now. It's coming in no particular order. I'm gonna get this one out of the way because I feel going to any holiday party to stand out, to turn heads, to get some attention. Some people will know what you're rocking, others will not. It will make you feel classy, sophisticated, elegant. It also makes me have a little bit of a certain je ne sais quoi. I got a little bit of swag when I wear this because I know what I'm rocking and I know that it's a pretty penny so I just feel a certain kind of way. That's just the type of gal she is and that's what I'm rocking. This fragrance is going to be no surprise. It is none other than Maison Francis Kirk John Baccarat Rouge 540, the straight de parfum version. It is the bitter almond note, saffron, cedar wood, and it is an ambergris beautiful fragrance. This one to me is my favorite out of the two. The original and this one, I prefer this one. It's a tad bit sweeter in my opinion. It does last a lot longer. I am able to smell this on me from this fragrance versus the other one. Like the other one plays the disappearing act. I really don't experience that with this one. So if you have a holiday party and you have this in your collection, I would say give this a try. This also mixes really well with with gentle fluidy gold. I move on. Now let's say you've been invited to a party and maybe you're going with some friends or maybe you're going with Boo Bay, somebody like that, but you really don't know the vibe. Like you're going in, you really don't know the vibe. They don't really know you. You wanna come in making a statement. You want your fragrance to arrive possibly before you do and you want your fragrance to kind of introduce you before you even open your mouth. Something that I would reach for this party holiday season, if you really wanna have fun, just count how many times I'm gonna say party holiday season. <laughs> Anyways, I would reach for, this is Paragon, and this is by Initial. This has a Palo Santo, this has a black pepper. This is a very spicy fragrance. It is absolutely gorgeous. It does have lavender and bergamot in the beginning. It's rich, it is so like, sexy, but in a different kind of sexy way. It's like, if I was doing this for you, I'd have nothing to prove. This for me though. You know what I mean? I know, if you know who said that, leave it in the comment section. If you don't, it's okay, it's okay. I move on. This one is good, I'm gonna spray. It's kind of woody, it does have some oud in it. So if you're not a fan, of those notes, it may not be for you, but for me, this is everything. I wore this out, I know I've been talking about it like crazy, you guys know how I am. If I get a fragrance and I find out that I'm absolutely in love with it, I'm gonna talk about it again, again, and again. That's just what she does. I wore this out on date night, it was purring and singing like nobody's business. This right here is good, good, it is sexy. I do not recommend blind buying it. It is different, a little bit of the other notes in it. It does have plum, it does have white sage, it has sandalwood, as I mentioned, Palo Santo, one of my favorite notes here lately. I love it, I find it to be very sexy. I find it to be very just like boss, like, like I'm sexy and I'm not doing this for you. You know, they have this song out, I don't know, it's on TikTok. I have to stop watching TikTok, but really not. That's just saying like, I'm not doing this to please you. I'm not doing this for you. This is for me. This fragrance right here, when I rock it, I just sit a little bit taller. My confidence is just like a little bit like <laughs> even more amped up. It's like on 10 plus and I'm just ready for it. So it's like, bring it on. And especially if I was walking in and I knew my outfit was nothing but dripping sauce and I wore this and they didn't know me. <laughs> Hello, I'm going in, I'm dropping, what did he say? I'm dropping juice, I'm dripping sauce, I'm doing what it do. 
I move on. You guys, please. Today is Saturday and I typically don't film on Saturday, but you know, I gotta do what I gotta do and plus I got a date, so this is what it is. So if you feel a vibe, just like, what is wrong with her? It's, it's all good. And I had a coffee at like 5.30 in the afternoon. I had a coffee, or was it four? Who cares? I had a coffee, so it's all good. If you're staying in the house or you're going to a home party or somebody invited you over, you know, this is ugly sweater season. A lot of people are getting together in the home. We're gonna be doing vision boards here soon. People are getting together to bake cakes, cookies, gingerbreads, whatever the heck, okay? If you're even like, you know, doing something with the kids and you still wanted to smell good, but you didn't want to be off putting or you didn't want to come in, shutting it down because you were going to be in someone's home. I have a nice, beautiful, cozy one that just smells just like the holidays. This is called Babylon. It is a beautiful fragrance. It has a beautiful nutmeg um, note in here that is absolutely gorgeous for the holidays. It's saffron, coriander, it has vanilla, cedar wood. It's rich, it's spicy, it's comforting. This is what I think about during the holiday season and I do have a 2.5. I received this in PR right around the time where we were really just staying in the house, you guys. We were really staying in the house and every time I think about that time, my heart just starts beating fast because it was so sad. Anyways, um, I come back. We were staying in the house and this fragrance had launched and it had come out and I had did a full review on it. So if you want a full and depth review, search my name in this fragrance, we shall appear. And just spraying it made me so happy and so comforting and so like in the holiday spirit, you know, in the holiday mood, it's spicy, it's rich, it's elegant, it's cozy, um, it's kind of boozy, it gives you like um, lounge vibes, but very comforting. Nothing where you have to be too dressed or anything like that, or it's not a real dressy fragrance in my opinion. I mean, you definitely could, but it's definitely one that I would reach for if I was just gonna be going over to someone's home and we were just gonna like chill, you know, like hang out at their space and, you know, do like a game night or a get together, something like that. We're gonna do like a potluck, a Friendsgiving. This would definitely be a great fragrance choice. I move on. That fragrance is so special and I don't even reach for it a lot like that. But during that time, it's really special so it forever will have a place in my heart. Something dressy, think of the classy professional. You don't have to be a professional, but I'm just saying like a classy professional, you're going out with colleagues, you're going to a work party. A lot of work parties are coming up right now. I've got a couple myself. And something I like to wear is like when I'm not trying to be flirty or in your face or catch a vibe or catch attention, but I definitely want to be looked at a little bit different, more, a little bit more prestige, a little bit more, you know, classy, just like that woman. You know what I mean? Something that I reach for that always gives me that vibe, it always gives me that feeling is a Chanel fragrance. And which better one to choose than 1957 for the holidays? This is powdery musk. It is an aldehyde fragrance iris pink pepper it has honey vanilla and auras but this is a beautiful fragrance it is so classy it's so um effervescent as well it's a little sparkly this one too does play like a little bit of a disappearing act i've shared this story with you all before i wore this out for a work uh, get together for a dinner one evening and I couldn't smell it at all. I was like, oh my God, I didn't spray enough. And look at this, you know, it has a pretty huge dent in it. And I was saying, oh my God, I didn't spray enough, right? And I actually did. I did not smell myself at all, but the gals that I was out having dinner with, I went to reach for, you know, you do a family style and you're passing food back and forth. And they were like, oh my God, I was wondering who was wearing that. You smell so good, what is it? It is 1957 from the Les Exclusive line. It does a little bit of the Maison Francis BR540 um, type of effect. It comes, it goes, you'll move, you'll move, it'll move just like that. It'll come back, you'll get a whiff and then you won't smell it. It's like, oh my gosh, where were you? But it's so beautiful. It's just absolutely gorgeous. If you're needing something and you're looking for something to wear to like a, a very classy event, event and even something maybe even formal, I would say this would definitely be something that I would reach for. This is beautiful. It definitely has a Chanel DNA. I will say that. I move on. Now, oh my God, you guys, I grabbed both of these because I could not make up my mind. So we're gonna talk about them both. I told you she doesn't follow rules. I dance by the beat of my own drums. I don't stick to the assignment, okay? But these right here were two that I also feel are very classy. Very Everything I, I'm gonna recommend is basically gonna be classy. I mean, hello, excuse you. Anyways, um, so yeah, I'm always gonna recommend something that is going to make you feel something. To me, fragrance is all about a feeling. 
when you put it on, it's that last accessory before you leave out of the house, before you look in the mirror, cause you know I always have it closed, excuse you. Before you look in the mirror, check your lips, check your hair, before you leave out of the house, it's just that one thing that I reach back, even if I've already put on my fragrance and I still spray it again. It's the final accessory and it just makes me feel a certain way. And when I wanna feel like this type of gal, woman, I'm gonna reach for something like Clive Christian. It just gives rich vibes. It gives refined, it gives established. It's, I'm old enough to know better. I told you guys that, but I'm still young enough to go there, so don't try me, because if we had to, we can. Hello? I'm just saying. Anyways, um, I have two. This is Queen Anne. This is Rock Rose. Um, and it is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. This is it here. Everything that I have a discount code for you guys, it will be linked in the description box below. I do have a 20% off with Soa Vanguard for some of these and then I have some other discounts for some of the other ones. So just always check the description box because there's always the savings in there. But this one right here is Rock Rose. It is absolutely beautiful. It makes me feel very classy, very fancy, very sophisticated. If you follow me the other night, I went out on a date. <laughs> Hello, and I did wear this. And just my demeanor, by just me having this fragrance on, it was a little bit different. I don't know, hit the like button if you can relate. When I wear different fragrances, I want a different behavior. You know what I mean? Sometime I can wear a fragrance and I'm trying to be flirty, I'm trying to be girly, I'm kikiing and haha. -ha. Sometime I wear one and it makes me feel like a baddie. I'm that girl too. And then sometime I can put on one and it makes me feel very sophisticated, very ladylike. And then sometime I can put on one and I could be very girly or very giddy or very subdued. And then sometime I could just put on one and it makes me feel like a boss. Like, hello? It's like one of these, I'm Sheree, have we met? That's what this fragrance gives me. If you have not, I would highly recommend it. Yes, girl, guy, I got all that from this fragrance. It is, it's giving boss vibe. I've been here. I'm definitely true to this. I'm not new to this. Another one would be sticking in that same ram, gonna give you that same vibe. I just could not choose between the two. Is this one here? This is a feminine perfume. I do have same 20% off. It's kind of fruity in the beginning. It has jasmine, it has patchouli, musk, it has labdomen, but it's the same thing. And I believe this right here can just get it. If you're wearing like all black, just like the bottle, something sleek, maybe a formal event, black, gold, and you just wanna stand out and you know turn some heads and get some attention. This is definitely the type of fragrance when you walk past the person, they're gonna look at you just you know because of how you smell. They're just gonna look at you. They'll probably even do an up and down or maybe a double, double take, but it's definitely gonna warrant some attention. I move on. I love talking about fragrances. They just make me so happy. Another one, this one is pretty newer to my collection. Um, I received this from So Avant-Garde during um, one of the PR uh, explosions we had or what have you. And I wanted to try it out and I believe I'm saying it right. It's Haley or Halley? Halley, I believe, or Haley. This is what the bottle looks like here. This one here, I wanted to try out and I was super excited to receive this in PR from So Avant-Garde. This is a very fruity fragrance, rose, peach, cinnamon, vanilla, and amber. It is very pretty girl. It is kind of flirty in my opinion. It's definitely a unisex fragrance. Man, woman, boy, child, human can pull up and rock this. It gives me sensual vibes and that's what I was telling you about, the different vibes that fragrances create. This is if I'm probably gonna go out and maybe I do wanna feel a little sensual. Maybe I do wanna give off a sexy vibe. Maybe I do want to wear something with maybe, um, hello, excuse you, the decollete on deck or shoulders. You know, I told you over here, okay? She likes to show neck and shoulder. You guys, I am killing it in the gym, okay? Anyways, this one right here is so uber, uber good. It's good and it's different. It's unique for those of you that are looking for something different, something unique, something that's a little bit more complex, but not too much complexity. This would be something to give a whiff. I believe they do have samples. You know, I'm not a huge fan of blind buying. I always encourage you to try before you buy. This would be a fantastic choice to check out. Yeah, this is really good. The fruity note in there makes it kind of playful, not so 
you know, put together or button up as some of the few that we have just mentioned. That one gives a little bit more of a playful vibe to it, a little bit more like, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> this next one is absolutely gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous, Dorling. It is bergamot raspberry, it is orange blossom, patchouli, cinnamon, it has like everything under the kitchen sink inside of here. Some of the ways that it will make you feel, at least for me, it definitely makes me feel like a classy, pretty woman very put together, chic, refined, button up, all of those classic terms when you just think of a woman who is on her grind and she knows her, she knows her, <laughs> she knows her worth, let's say that. She knows her worth, the only downfall, and I won't say downfall, because we're not praying on nobody's downfall over here, but the only con I would say is that it's not a beast, it's not gonna project or last as long. You can spray extremely heavy, and I will recommend if it wouldn't stain, spray it on your clothes. It would help with longevity. This is by Roja Dove, and this is the Essence Collection, and this is 51. You guys, this is such a beautiful, classy fragrance that can just be amazing when you wear it, especially around the holiday season. To me, this can be worn year round. It is signature scent worthy. It is a beautiful, just pretty woman, well put together. The mister on that is beautiful as well. This is not the girl I'm trying to be tonight, but it's okay. Yeah, but it's light. It's not a skin scent. It's just definitely something that if someone was in your presence and like say for instance you had a meeting or somebody came in and they sat in your presence for a while and then they walked out, you would get a whiff of the fragrance. You would definitely catch the sillage and get a whiff. But it's not something that's gonna be so loud that it's just gonna project and for hours upon hours, not on me. A good four to five hours is what it's gonna project. If I spray it on my clothes, it's definitely gonna project a little bit longer. But if you're looking for something classy, this is definitely the way to go. Not everybody wants to go in. You know, your fragrance typically, to me, in my opinion, kind of matches your mood and your personality. So some days that I don't wanna be like just extra, um, and I don't ever know when that is, but some days, a fragrance like this would be perfect because it's not gonna do too much, but you're gonna smell like a rich, classy, sophisticated, elegant woman. I move on. Now for the party fragrance. The glamour girl, the girl that wants to go out. She's wearing something a little bit more sparkly. She wants to have a little bit more fun. Girl, woman, I'm talking to us, okay, you guys? Um, she wants to turn up a little bit. She wants to have a good time. She's the life of the party. She's bringing in all the stuff. She's got a gorgeous outfit on. She's got a nice bag. She may even have some faux fur. She's got glitz, lots of lashes. She doesn't have to wear all this. I'm just painting a picture. She is gonna reach for something fun, something mandarin, a little bit of whipped cream, marshmallow, a beautiful fragrance. Girl, what you talking about? <laughs> I'm talking about Oriana. This is a classic glamour holiday party, in my opinion. A nice, beautiful red lip, something um, like effervescent, very sparkly. As I stated, it has musk in it. It's luxurious. It. I don't even have none to waste. I'm not spraying that on the paper, sorry. I'm just gonna smell extremely beautiful. Gosh, it's good. It gets the same reaction every single time I spray it. I love this fragrance. It is so good. If you have not had a chance to get your hands on it, I would highly recommend it. I get a great sillage and a great longevity when it comes to this fragrance. I have no issue with performance at all. Another thing about it is that it's something that you, it's one of those fragrances and hit the like button again if you can relate that, you can spray it and it just uplifts your mood. It makes me happy, it makes me wanna, you know, be very jolly, probably because I spray it around the holidays even more than usual and it's, normally a festive occasion when I'm wearing this one. I'm probably already happy, but it's definitely a beautiful fragrance, luxurious. I wrote down a few words that it makes me feel sparkling, very feminine, youthful, playful, but still elegant and very classy. I move on. Now let's say for instance, you need something, fix your hair girl. Let's say you need something pretty, like a pretty woman. Think of a pretty woman going somewhere, maybe a daytime event. This is a daytime party or daytime meet and greet or a meetup or a luncheon or what have you. You can never go wrong if you wanna be classy and wear something that's going to have a statement and a presence 
but it's not gonna do too much. I would recommend Miss Dior. This is a beautiful fragrance. If you're not able to find this one, I think a lot of the Miss Dior's are beautiful. Um, the Ja Dior is absolutely gorgeous. The Blooming, is it Blooming Bouquet? I think so, or Blooming Roses, or Rose and Roses. I have not smelled any of them that I was like, oh my gosh, this is not, you know, I don't like this, this isn't good. All of their fragrances warrant class, sophistication, and luxury, and this one is no different. This one here is so beautiful. I reach for this, I used to reach for this a lot going and wearing it to church, but um, I don't reach for it that often anymore, but it is a beautiful fragrance. I have so many in my collection that I just, oh my gosh, it's good. This is classy. This is class in a bottle. Pink pepper, rose, jasmine, patchouli, and it does have um, rosewood in it. And a few of the ways that it makes me feel is very ladylike, very put together, elegant, classy. And I put on here like a daytime luncheon. Say for instance, a girlfriend called you and said, hey, you wanna get together, you wanna meet up or something, and you weren't gonna you know, do anything in the evening. It was just gonna be the two of you or the girls that got together. This is something you would put on for that type of event, that type of occasion. Like I said, very ladylike. I move on. <laughs> I'm just having so much fun. Another one, and this totally screams holiday. I don't really want to take the cap off of this fragrance because I just might lose it. I have been rocking this fragrance for a while now. Before I bought the bottle, you guys, I will sit on some samples and hold and rock samples for like two years before I buy the bottle. And I did that with this fragrance. It took me forever to buy it because I just had an amazing client advisor and he always gave me the best samples, customer service, everything. So I just didn't need to buy the bottle. Finally, I was like, okay, the time has come. Let me buy the bottle. This is so good. I have so many amazing, sexy memories with this. So many holiday me memories with this. It's just a beautiful fragrance. And to me, it screams holiday party season. And that is by Tom Ford. And this is Santal Blush. I went in the mall recently and smelled the new one that came out. I don't know if it was reformulated or just in a new bottle. It really smelled the same to me. I couldn't really smell a difference. I don't know, it may have smelled if I were to make something up or say something fresher, I guess, a little bit lighter, I don't know. But to me, it smelled the same. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen that. And if you didn't, come over and say hi on Instagram. This is a warm, spicy. This gives rich vibes, classy vibes. This would be something that you can wear to a very formal event, a formal party, black tie event. Something where you just got all dressed and you were going all out and you wanted to make a statement with your fragrance. This is something that you can reach for and it would help to complete the look, complete the outfit, complete, you know, the vibe that you are going for. This is a fragrance to me that creates a vibe and it's a very luxurious vibe in my opinion. A few of the notes in this fragrance is amber, it has oud, it has cinnamon, rose, sandalwood, and it does have musk. This is beautiful. Gosh, I knew I should have took the cap off. One minute, please. Oh gosh, it just, it'd be like that sometimes. If, if, if a fragrance can't give me that type of reaction and I speak about it as if it's a favorite, I don't even want you in my collection. Like if you're not sexy, I don't even want you in my collection, but I want my fragrances to create a vibe. So these are a few party scents that I had in my collection that I wanted to recommend for several occasions, whether you're staying home, going out, work, formal, just turning up, having a good time. These are all of the fragrances that I would recommend. I do have many more videos coming with new fragrances. I received so many new fragrances, so we will be diving into those. Thank you so much for taking the time to stop by my channel today. I truly, truly appreciate you. If you wanna stay connected throughout the week, whenever I am not here, I am always on YouTube or TikTok. I'm just saying one of those places you can find me. So come over, say hi, introduce yourself, slide in the DM. I will see you beautiful souls in the next one. Until next time, you know the drill. Be blessed, stay fit, and definitely stay fabulous, Julie. Thanks for watching. Bye.